Hi everyone. I just wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you about one of my favorite spring migrants that will be back next month and is relatively easy to attract to a backyard feeder. Now that bird is the rose-breasted grosbeak. If you're not familiar with the rose-breasted grosbeak, uh, they're an absolutely beautiful bird. The males are black and white and as the name suggests they've got a really rosy breast which is, it was, which is quite beautiful. Now in terms of size, the grosbeak's roughly the same size as the northern cardinal so you need a feeder uh, of appropriate size to attract them. Uh, so a couple of great options for that are uh, a large tube feeder with a large perch ring on it. Um, this one here is the, the Yankee Whipper, uh, but the Squirrel Buster Plus is another great one that has that full perch ring. Plenty of space for the bird to perch and feed, lots of feed ports. Um, so in terms of tube feeders, that's a great option. Uh, another one of my favorite feeders, uh, this I think might be my new favorite feeder, is this uh, uh, tray feeder here. Um, this is a woodlink tray. Uh, it's got a mesh screen bottom, so you just fill it with seed. Uh, it hangs like so. Uh, any rain or moisture or anything like that, well, water will drain through, keeps the seed fresh. Uh, and again, large open area for the birds to perch on and feed. Another great option is a fly-through feeder like this. Uh, similar to this one here uh, in terms of the base, but it's covered uh, so it just gives a little more protection from the, the rain and the elements. And again, a mesh bottom, moisture will drain, keeps the seed fresh. Uh, there's a solid piece in the middle here, you can put a base on there. Uh, these ones are best pole mounted with a baffle like a standard feeder. Uh, but again, a big open space for the birds to come in uh, and land and feed. And then basically with uh, seed, uh, uh, in terms of the favorite uh, seed of the rose-breasted grosbeak, they love safflower, and safflower is just the uh, the white seed that I've got here in a plastic bag to show you. Uh, it's their favorite. So if you fill any one of these style of feeders with the safflower, if the rose-breasted grosbeaks are in your area, they're probably going to come and visit your feeder. Now I typically see my first rose-breasted grosbeak uh, in southwest Western Ontario the first week of May, uh, so they'll be along shortly. And uh, like I say, if they're in your area and you've got safflower out in a feeder that will accommodate them, you're probably going to see them in your yard. Now, if you're wondering about these feeders and you're going to invest in one and think, well, what if I don't get a rose-breasted grosbeak? Not to worry. These three feeders are awesome for attracting cardinals uh, as well as many other birds. Um, these ones here are popular with doves as well. Um, woodpeckers, chickadees, blue jays, nuthatches, you name it. Um, we'll pretty much visit these feeders. So if you're looking to attract any bird really, but particularly gross beaks uh, in the next uh, month or so when they come back, get a setup like this, fill it with some safflower seed, and uh, you'll be all set. Thanks for watching everybody.